<laughs> Hello, your gossip souls, and welcome to the Honest Channel. Today we are speaking about Demi Lovato's Froyo Frozen drama. Here she is on her apology video after claiming feeling very offended and triggered on a simple visit to a Froyo shop. So let's begin digging behind the scenes of this apologize. So actually Demi Lovato has been very open and frank about her issues with food and her mental issues and drug addictions and actually that's really brave and vulnerable and bringing awareness to those subjects are something that we should be grateful for Demi Lovato to show us that and show up young generations that and of course she has a huge followers so actually we appreciate that but on the other hand this case has bring such awareness and such a bad clash at Demi because she took a very personal feeling about being triggered with something and instead of being like like you and me and just deal with it or maybe just go to a manager in a private inside the shop and if she wants to help the shop so badly she could just go to the manager and says hey uh, I have issues uh, with eating disorders I'm working on this and actually this cookies and this kind of Martin eat a guilty um, agenda this is kind of hurting my feelings this is triggering me I know it's not of my business, this is not my shop, but can you be sensitive to this and aware of this? Because maybe, well, th of course the shop doesn't think about it. Uh, but instead, she, with a huge following and a huge influencer, she just bashed the a little small Froyo shop on the internet. So I think Demi wasn't expecting this big lash and she had to make this apology video. And yes, I'm already spelling the T. She has to make this apology video. I will tell you right up front, she's not apologetic. Okay, so she's still making a tantrum about this issue. She feels like she's right. And she felt forced to make this apology video. I will tell you some sketches and we will see her body language. And can... Here is a classic example of disgust. And she's still pissed. She's pissed because she have to do it. And she's pissed because of all the, black, the backlash at it, you know? And yeah, so this video is not to put Demi out and down. We don't want that because she have trouble already. Probably shouldn't have, you know, gone about this the way that I have. But, but at the same time, if you don't apologize for something, if you're not feeling it, don't do it. It's fake and we all can see it. And that's why in the honest gossip, we couldn't leave it alone. We have to bring it to the table because it's just too obvious. She's pissed. Look at her face. She's talking in a very angry manner. And she's telling that, oh, 
Uh, I'm an impul I'm an impulsive Ooh. person. It's just I'm an very passionate person. about what I believe in, and I've lived through enough to Who know ask when her to, to fight speak. the fight. You know, this is her own issues. Nobody asked her to be going in all shops and banning diet culture. It makes part of our society. And having some cakes say, eat me, guilt-free, it's triggering her or it's triggering someone else because they have issues going on. If you're a healthy person, mentally and in your body, you're not going to be triggered because you see some cookies on an aisle or of a supermarket, of a froyo shop, or on TV, on Instagram, because you're feeling good with yourself and your mental stable and you're healthy. So that's it. And she should understand this and realize that the trigger is not as much as an external thing but it's a correspondence of how she feel inside so she was feeling guilty because she was going to eat an ice cream and even if she decided to go to the most healthy option of ice cream which is a frozen yogurt probably with low carbs and low calories she was still feeling emotionally and mentally guilty of being there. And when she looked to the side and see some cookies telling, eat me guilt-free. So that word goes to her brain and just triggers all the emotions and all the vulnerability and everything that she was feeling. She was feeling guilty. And instead of, okay, I'm feeling guilty and dealing with it and even calling her therapist, some friends, something, she backlashed at <laughs> the shop, you know? It's like this thing, it's like I'm having, uh, okay, I'm having a heartbreak. My boyfriend broke up with me and the radio pit plays our song and I get sad and I get teary eye. I'm not going to my Instagram full of followers saying this radio sucks. They play this music and it makes me sad. And that's exactly what Demi Lovato did. And then she had so much backlash. Everyone got against it. Well, not everyone who did it. Who defend Demi Lovato on this? So Jamela Jamil actually defended Demi Lovato and she said that uh, she was not, it was not her fault that she was having this backlash and this was getting bigger than it's supposed to be. Let's see what she has to say. Jamala wrote, okay, I want to try to avoid making the story bigger than already is, but if an eating disorder advocate says she sees products that are positive as guilty-free and it is potentially triggering, that doesn't mean she's too stupid to remember that diabetics exist. It just means that we need to change the marketing of products that are people's medical needs, Jamala said. She added that all Demi Lovato was asking for, it doesn't make her a monster. It doesn't mean she disregards people's illnesses. She's just one of few celebrities reminding us to look out for mental illness. Guilt-free is diet culture terminology. On the other hand, Piers Morgan says she was deluded. And, um, but of course... Here on Honest Gossip, we don't believe you should call people names because names, that's just bullying. We, are, we like to have an honest conversation to see the latest gossip, but we are not here to bullying or trash anyone. So who do you think is right? 
Are you Froyo team or are you Demi Lovato team? Do you think that uh, for a cookie to have, eat me guilt-free is dieting culture and that's a terrible thing to do? Did you believe that Demi Lovato apologize? Let me know in the comments.